What's up, everybody? It's your boy Chance. Um, just so you guys know, um, I have something that I would like you guys to see. Um, you know, people don't really realize the standing music wise that I have in the underground as far as, you know, music goes. I worked with a lot of major names. Um, actually quite a few, um, to name, like I said, you know, I did that song for you guys with myself and Cryptic Wisdom, uh, which I did that one for free. I let him take all the credit for that because, you know, I like to help people, you know, that's what I do. I help people and that's what I did for him to help him out. But, um, you know, like I said, I've worked with many artists in the past, such as Julian Solano, who's a very good friend of mine, who actually is one of the main, most inner circled members of Nightcore. I've worked with them in the past. So shout out to my boy Julian. Shout out to my brothers and sisters over at Nightcore. Fucking love y'all. Um, but uh, I was actually on YouTube a few minutes ago, actually, looking at some of Julian's new work, which I'm very impressed by the way, dude. Fucking love it. When I got this sent to me directly, not only in my email, but also on the BSR channel. Which I'm very impressed by the way, dude. Fucking love it. When I got this sent to me directly, not... So this, I'm going to let you guys hear firsthand. This is a direct message from Reborn to Records to themselves. Threats from Raising King and several other prominent figures in the underground to multiple... Hey, let me restart for you. This is like a... It's a 27 second... Due to multiple threats from Raising King and... Oh, let me pause it real quick. So, here you go. So, shout out to my homie Raising King, man. You fucking rock, brother. Um, shout out to all the fans, for sure, that have stood up with... Stood up for me about this stuff. So. Uh, this is actually a direct message straight from Reborn Records, um, from them themselves. So, here you guys go. I'll play this for you guys. And I do have this video downloaded before they went and deleted it. So, I have this as proof for you guys in case anybody needs it. I have it downloaded for proof. So, here we go. Due to multiple threats from Raising King and several other prominent figures in the underground music scene, we will be deactivating this channel and no longer communicating with Bloodshot Records, Chance Wilkins, or anyone else. We will also be shutting down Blood Records and dissolving our label entirely. We did not know the standing he has in the underground scene, and Raising King has made us aware of this. We sincerely apologize for the hurt caused and we will be canceling this channel. Thank you. And there you guys go. You guys heard it for yourselves firsthand. These guys obviously had no idea at the standing that I have with, you know, certain artists and labels in the underground, such as my brother of 15 fucking years, um, Eric Scrubble. Been working with that man since day one, so shout out to my motherfucking brother, Eric. Shout out to the Alien Nation. Um, you know, shout out to all the fans who, you know, have stood by me, man. You guys are the fucking best, man. Straight the fuck up. Um, I was not expecting this, but, you know, I will still, like, I'll still do music, but I will be taking a good long break for a while due to all of this. I'm going to let it, you know, kind of wind down and cool off. But while I am taking a break from my music, I did actually release a brand new song today for you guys to peep. Um, but, uh, as far as, like, taking the break goes, um, I will be focusing more on my comic heroes. I know a lot of you guys have been asking, when am I going to do some more comic book style heroes? I actually have it up right now. I will be working on some new stuff for that. And, like I said, starting this week or next week, this upcoming weekend or next weekend, I'm not sure when. It'll be like either this weekend, next week, or the following weekend after. I will be focusing on um, game development again. Um, if you guys don't know, I actually started using RPG Maker MV about two to three years ago. Um, started making a couple of really good games. Had some solid demos out. But then, unfortunately, those never got released due to my computer crashing and getting destroyed. 
like it didn't really get destroyed, but like it basically shut down and would not do anything. So I will be, you know, going back in and rebuilding those games back up from scratch. Um, I'm definitely excited to get back into game development, man. I've not made a game in a long time. So I will have to relearn a few things. But, you know, you can count on, you know, some new releases coming here and there very soon. Uh, I do thank you guys that have stood beside me, like, this whole fucking time, man. Like, you guys, you know, you guys have been the best, man. Straight up. Everybody to the new fans. Uh, like my boy Jacob, shout out to the homie Jacob. What's up, bro? I see you, man. The dude's like my motherfucking brother. Love that dude, man. So shout out to Jacob. Shout out to my brother Garrett, man. I see you. And also huge, huge shout out to my homie Gabriel from Dejected Records, man. Thank you so much for the opening opportunity, man. I appreciate it, dude. You know, I can't wait to, you know, to be able to join you guys. Um, that's going to be so awesome, man. Yo, definitely shout out to the homie Seth, man. What's up, dude? It's been a minute, brother. How you doing, Seth? What's been going on with you, bro? Now, if you guys don't know Seth, Um, Seth is actually a music artist himself. The dude's really, really awesome, man. So shout out to the homie Seth. Man, the dude's a fucking beast on the mic. If you've not checked out Seth's work, man, what are you doing? Go check his stuff out, man. He's got some amazing stuff. Um, also, I do have a brand new reaction video up on Nuclear Reactor. On nuclear reaction, um, I actually reacted to a new band actually that I've never heard of called Conquer Divide. They've got some amazing stuff. As a matter of fact, I will actually play you one of their songs. Um, and this, like I said, no copyrights are. You know, being made through me, like, all right, let me rephrase that. I am not, you know, attending on any copyright infringement. Um, you know, all, and I mean all rights, go to Conquer Divide and all the members of Conquer Divide and their production team. Um, this is actually their song called Nightmares. And you guys, for those that are, for those of you that are metalheads, you guys will love this. And keep in mind, this is an all-female band. Now, as far as comparisons go, think about a band like Flyleaf meeting another band like Suicide Silence or Black Veil Brides. And that's basically what these guys are. Like, they're really good. So here we go. This is Conquering Divides Nightmares. <laughs> I'm not 
Yo, April, what is good? It has been a while. Hold up, yo. Hold up, hold the phone real quick. Yo, major, major shout out to April, man. Shout out to everybody on the Art Alliance crew, which is a very legendary, you know, art group on Facebook and in general, which I can honestly say I'm proud to be a part of, man. So shout out to April. Shout out to everybody in the Art Alliance crew, man. Fucking love y'all, man. Yo, April, how have you been doing, man? It has been a while. Like, how have you been? Like, what's new? It's great to see you on here, April. Like, 110%. Like, that's cool. So, you know, welcome back, April, to the live streams, man. Absolutely love you guys. Again, you know, shout out to everybody in my family on the Art Alliance crew. You know, like I said, man, y'all in the Art Alliance crew are family. You know, like, you guys are fucking awesome. And if you guys don't know who the Art Alliance crew is, you guys can look them up on Facebook, man. They got a lot of great stuff. I was actually introduced to them by my sister, Angel. Um, so a huge shout out to Angel for introducing me to them and, you know, making me part of the family. Like, absolutely fucking love you guys. So, you know, if you guys have not checked out Art Alliance crew, man, they have, they're actually some of the best artists in the world. And I'm proud to be part of that, man. I'm proud to be one of the best, man. So shout out to Art Alliance crew, 110%. But uh, if you guys don't know, I actually do have some new gear coming out real soon on DK Customs. I have some new stuff for you guys, as well as my C. Wilkins art gear. I have some new stuff coming out for that. And I even have some special edition nuclear reaction stuff dropping real soon. You guys will get some really cool limited edition brand new nuclear reaction channel gear. Right. It's been raining here a lot too, as well as the rain. Like it's been raining, snow, you name it. Like it sucked. And like that's why I've been inside and I haven't really been doing much photography. As of lately, that's why my camera's just been sitting there because it's actually been raining and it's been too nasty to even really do anything. So, and believe it or not, I actually am doing really well. Um, in April, if you guys, April and anybody that does not know, if you guys do not know yet, I actually did get a brand new camera set up for Christmas, which I don't know if you guys can see behind me. But right there, I got the new um, Canon Rebel T6. Um, right now, this is just the regular, yeah, this is just the regular typical setup. This isn't the zoom camera lens or anything like that. This is the normal setup. And then right here, I actually have both lenses um, attached. I think I have them both done. All right, now this is just the zoom lens. Um, right now, I have just your zoom lens right here um, for the lens on here in the end. I actually have the 2.2 uh, AF telephoto lens. Absolutely love it. I swear by this lens. Um, there is another one. Wait, maybe this is attached to this one. Let me see. Oh, I know. This is just the typical one. Okay. Oh, yeah, this has just got the lens for the stuff. So, I, so let me reattach this real quick. Hold on. It's kind of, it can be kind of tricky to attach these lenses. Now, for those of you that do like to do a mobile photography, um, something I do recommend are these guys right here, which are Five Star Prime. Um, if you guys are trying to get into photography, one thing I do that I do want to say, if you're going to get into photography doing mobile, like using your phone, um, definitely use Camera MX. That's like the best app that you can use. Um, for a camera, it's really good. 
But if you guys go on to Amazon.com and you look for these, uh, this is what you guys can get for 20 bucks. Um, it comes with, um, let's see which one this is. Okay. Um, this is a 0 0.36 super wide lens. Um, it comes with macro lenses, telephoto lens. It even comes with one of my personal pairs. This is what I like to use for like scenery shots, or, like car shots and stuff. Or like if I'm doing like a skate session or whatever and I like to, you know, get that unique lens. Um, look, it comes with a 198 millimeter fisheye lens, as you can see right there. You can get that with it as well. So if you guys are looking for a good um, lens, definitely hit up Five Star Prime on Amazon. They're only 20 bucks. Um, they're not that expensive at all. Um, and one cool thing about Five Star Prime is it does come with a... I don't think it's in here, but it might be in here. I'm going to install this stuff, so let me look. I don't know how my drumsticks got in there. Those need to be moved. Yes, I have metal drumsticks. Because I do actually have a drum kit that I made on my own. That broke, I need to replace. Sorry guys, I'm looking for something here, so give me just a minute. That's where I went. <laughs> ah, here we go. But along with the lenses that you get with the five star primes you also get this awesome gunmetal gray cleaning cloth for the lenses which i have like two or three of these um i have one blue one for my main my main lens but i use this for like all my camera lenses whether it's for you know whether it's for my canon camera or whether it's for my mobile camera i always carry this on hand But like I said, if you guys are looking for, you know, a good camera to start out with for mobile shots, um, definitely hit up 5 Star Prime. But um, the camera setup that I got only costs like $400 on Amazon. Um, it comes with the stuff you see behind me. Like it comes with the camera, the tripod, carry bag, lenses, filters. Uh, and it also comes with two of these, actually. It comes with two, well, one of them is actually in the camera, but it comes with two um, interchangeable batteries. Um, the lens that this is on right now, this is the lens that I currently have. All right, so that is the other lens. Hold on. I want to pop this off where you're not going to tell you. Yeah, this is the main lens I use right here. But uh, it comes with a strap. It comes with a carry case for this, which I don't ever use. I don't ever use that bag because I've got my camel back that I turned into a bag. But um, it comes with this right here, which is your typical lens. And then this right here is actually the blue. The funny story. Take this off real quick. But the funny story about this lens right here is I was actually downstairs in the basement doing some work for a little bit of money for my mom. And uh, we were going through boxes. I had to break down boxes. And I came across this in the boxes and almost threw it away. I almost threw this lens away not knowing that I still had this in the case. Like, I had no idea this was even in there. So I almost lost this. But this is a 7 through 75 through 300 millimeter. Uh, it comes with full zoom. And you guys can tell it comes with a full zoom on there. 
How's that for a zoom in? Imagine being like 200, 300, 400 feet away and needing to get a far shot. There you go. Now look at the range on that. Like the range on that is a lot. So, you know, that's definitely a good thing to have. But, I mean, I got a pretty good setup. And also, if you guys are wondering what I use to carry all this stuff in, let me show you guys. This is something I, ne I have not shown anybody yet, actually. So, if you guys do or don't remember, this actually used to be my setup for my camera rig for whenever I was doing controller cam racing. Like, whenever I would have my controllers on and stuff, I would have this whenever I would throw this on my back. And then, you know, I would tie everything. I would clip everything to where the camera would sit just right. But all my camera gear surprisingly fits in this little bag right here. Um, this is actually a camel bag that I converted into a camera bag. So, like, literally, I can break down this, I can break down the tripod, I can break down these, the lenses, all the filters, and literally, ultimately, throw everything in here and just grab it and go. And that's what I love about this bag. It looks small, but there's actually quite a lot of room. It goes from the very top up here where you guys see my finger, and all the way down to... Here, right here where this little bump is, that's actually my finger. But it goes all the way down there. And it also has a little slot right here, which I usually carry like spare bags in just in case. And so like if something gets wet or anything, I can just throw it in there. But if you guys are looking for a good you know, camera bag. Uh, it did come with a carry bag, which I don't ever use that. I actually use that for main like storage. But this is what I carry around with me whenever I go out and I do photo shoots or video shoots. This is what I carry with me all the time. And it's actually not that heavy. Like people keep asking me, isn't all that camera gear heavy? No, not really. It's not really that heavy at all. And one of the little thing I do like to do is even though this is the water pouch. Um, sometimes, like not all the time, but sometimes I'll stick stuff in there. Like I'll lay stuff down in there. And then I'll just turn it upside down like that and then pull it out. So I, like, you know, your small stuff, you know, like your small things, I'll throw them in there. But this is what I use to carry my stuff around. And as far as camera gear goes. Oh, it's very good, very lightweight, actually. And if you ever want to clip anything to it, you can. You got, well, let's see, you got one. To carry my stuff around, and as far as camera You got here, two, goes. three, oh, very good, very four, lightweight, five, six. Actually. You got six of these. You got, you got six of these to clip stuff to, so it's definitely very good. Definitely very versatile. It's or yeah, you got six on the sides of the hole, and then you got two right there. So you got a total of eight of these little ring things. So if you want to like clip stuff to it, go ahead. And then it's got the little Velcro thingy that you can just tie around your waist or your stomach. So if you guys are looking for a good quality bag, definitely pick up a Camelback. Um, this one actually has been in war. This is actually given to me by my now somewhat ex-friend. Um, her boyfriend's dad was actually overseas in the military. Um, when his dad gave this to him, he didn't want it, so he gave it to her. She never used it, so she gave it to me. So, you know, this has seen action. So, you know, it's definitely pretty cool to, you know, have... So, you know, shout out to my friend's boyfriend's dad for serving, man. Much respect to you, sir. But uh, like I said, you know, definitely a good bag to have. If you guys are looking for something very versatile and lightweight and you can just throw on your back at any time, like, look at this. Like, you can literally throw this on your back 
and you wouldn't even you could still throw something else on your back like a regular backpack or whatever and still have time plus it's very lightweight um it does actually serve as armor as well um the reason why i know that it serves as you know a uh, skid pad protector is because if you guys don't know uh, let me put this up I don't know, hold on. But if you guys don't know, back in October of last year, I was supposed to work with some of the masters of horror at, um, and down here in Akron at one of the um, Halloween fests at Seven Floors of Hell. Uh, I was supposed to be working with some of the greatest masters of horror movies and themes in general. Um, when my arm got injured, um, I tore my elbow. You guys can actually see the scar too. Not this right there, but you guys can still see that scar right there from where my arm got messed up. Uh, pretty bad, but not only did I mess up my arm, but this actually saved me from skinning up my back real bad too. Um, in fact, you can actually see the skid marks right there from when I slid, like right there. Um, there's like one or two up in here. So this thing definitely saved my life, man. This definitely saved me from, you know, tearing up my back. So, you know, definitely love this thing. You know, definitely, definitely, I never leave the house without this, honestly. Like, I always take this everywhere I go. So, you know, it's definitely a good deal. So uh, let me put this up real quick. And also, um, I do want to say thank you to everybody that did show up at Road to WrestleMania last week. Had a great time last week at Road to WrestleMania. Um, if you guys don't know, um, I did have some footage, which I somehow either lost. So it does suck that I won't be able to post that footage. But I did manage to pick this up right here. And yes, this is one of this is actually one of the AJ Styles official shirts. Reason why I know that is because not only does it have this, but it's got his official P1 logo on the side right there. Only turn so you guys can see it. But uh, you know, shout out to AJ Styles, man. You know, I enjoyed seeing Road to WrestleMania. Also, I do want to give a huge, huge, huge welcome to Monday Night Raw for one of my personal all-time favorite wrestlers from NXT, which is the one and only Aleister Black, man. So, Aleister, welcome to Monday Night Raw. Welcome to Monday Night Raw, Ricochet. You know, all the new superstars that came over from NXT to Raw and SmackDown, man. You know, huge shout-out to you guys. But, man, Aleister, we are so – I'm honestly happy as hell because if you guys don't know, Alistair Black is a very, you know, like he's a very good wrestler, man, 110%. Um, he's actually one of my top, he's actually my number one top favorite to come out of NXT. I've been watching Alistair for, God, God, I can't remember how long I've been watching Alistair for, but, you know, huge shout out to Alistair Black for coming over from NXT, man. Glad to have you here, dude. Um, but also, I know I've been getting a lot of questions about this. Um, people have been wondering, you know, where my iconic look went. As far as, like, you know, the glove goes. I know a lot of you guys enjoy seeing the glove. So, and if you guys don't know, the glove that I used to wear during all my shows on here and stuff I actually got from um, Crucifix. And you guys don't know Crucifix, he's an artist, he's a Christian artist. Um, I actually got the glove from his song, Dreamer. Um, I went on and bought it. It was one of the, you know, pieces that you can buy as a one at a time. So for all you guys wondering, here you go. The Iconic Glove is back in full swing. Gotta have the iconic glove, man. Got to. 
I know you guys have been wondering. For all you guys wondering, here you go. The Iconic Glove is back. All right, I don't know why it's doing that. It does that every once in a while. I don't know why it's doing that. I have no idea. But uh, I will be using this glove a lot more often. Um, I may end up doing some shows on here. So if you guys would like to see me do some shows, you know, slap that like button, share this around. Um, if you guys would like to see me do some classical work, because if you guys don't know, um, ah, hold on a minute. I actually got this not that long ago, which is a keyboard, well, wireless keyboard, so I can just hook up to anything and do my stuff. And you know what? For you guys, I think I'll do something pretty cool. This is going to be something I have not done before. Um, I'm actually going to do a composition set of some of my most iconic classical pieces for you guys. As well as some covers. And while I wait for my music production program to start up. I will reattach this lens so the lens on the inside here doesn't get dirty or messed up. Because that's the last thing I need is for this thing to get ruined and I'm not going to be able to use it. Ah, oh, there we go. We are set. Ah, no, I didn't want that. Hold on, I accidentally pressed the wrong thing. Let's delete track. Let's go instruments. Let's go strings. No, I don't want a banjo. I don't do a banjo. Nothing against banjos. I love banjos, but for what I do, I don't. I don't use them. Let's do string orchestra. Ah, there we go. Now, what I'm going to do for you guys is something I've never done really for anyone. So, now this is something I've not ever done before live. So, you guys are going to get to see a first. Um, I've only ever done this on Live.me. If you guys don't know what Live.me is, it's kind of like Facebook Live. Um, I've actually performed a lot of, you know, really cool shows on there. I've done some cover shows. So, for you guys only, um, I can actually play this like, like, you know, this. So, I will be doing that. So, with that being said, this is Unknown Soldier by Breaking Benjamin. Like this. Also, hit that like button if you enjoy this, man. Turn this down a bit. And now let's restart it. Thank you. 
And there you guys go, man. That's one thing I love about this is that I can actually do stuff like that. It's fucking awesome. Yo, shout out to Jamie. Yo, my homie Jamie Kincaid. What is up, my dude? How you doing, brother? How you doing, man?
and there you guys go, man. That's a little bit of, you know, stuff I can do for y'all, man. Like, that's something I actually learned how to do quite a bit ago. That's one thing I love about this wireless controller is that I can do cool stuff like that. As a matter of fact, I'm actually going to do another one for you guys, but this one's going to be sitting down like this. Like, I'm going to have it sit down. Uh, if you guys don't know about j Cobb or Bo Kwan, she's a... Bo Kwan is actually the queen of j Cobb. She's been named the queen of j Cobb for many years. If you guys are into anime, you might recognize one of her songs. Called Every Heart. It's the actual ending theme song, the ending song for Inuyasha. And since I know, I know, I know you guys are begging for it now. I'm actually going to be doing something on guitar, which I know you guys have been begging me for. I've gotten your messages, so. Here you go. Do a few covers for you guys. And I'm actually going to be doing some songs that um, I know... I've actually recently learned for you guys. Hold on. Uh, 
Oh, pardon me. Now, if you guys don't know this theme song, well, some of you guys might. I don't know. Um, if you guys know the series Gundam Wing, then you guys will know this. Hold on. And also, a huge shout out to all my Gundam fans out there, dude. Fucking love Gundam Wing. I grew up on that shit just like you guys. No, I didn't want the dance version of that shit. Here we go. I think this is it. Sorry guys, I had to do that, man. I absolutely had to do that. And I also learned this one as well. So shout out to all my FMA fans out there. And if you don't know what FMA is, man, full monogamy. Thank <laughs> you. 
And there you guys go, man. What a full metal alchemist for y'all, man. Straight up, man. What a little, what a little full metal alchemist for all my full metal alchemist fans out there. And I can honestly say yes. For those of you that don't know, yes, I am a major, major anime nerd. Like, when I'm not doing music or gaming out, you can usually find me watching anime, like, 24-7. Like, that's what I do. When I'm not working on music or anything, I'm usually watching a good anime all the time. So, you know, definitely shout out to all my Full Metal Alchemist fans out there, dude. Straight love y'all, man. But uh, with that being said, y'all, I'm about to hop off here, kick it, chill, maybe work on some comic book characters. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But, uh, you know, I just want to say thank you guys for all the love and support that you guys have shown me through all this crap. Um, again, I do have that video downloaded as proof for you guys. I have proof of that shit, so if they try anything, I could just literally go back and upload that video. I have that as proof. So with that being said, much love to the underground, man. Much love to the alien nation. Shout out to Dejected Records, man. I fucking love Dejected. You guys fucking rock. You know, I can't wait to be part of that label, man. It's going to be awesome when I am able to. Uh, shout out to everybody that's, you know, been supporting me, backing me up. Shout out to one of my best friends, man, Christopher Friend. He's been a huge, huge, huge help for me, man. This guy is actually going to be one of the testers for my games that I put out here real soon. I'm excited to be developing games again, man. I'm super excited for that. Um, you know, I have not done any game development in a long time, so this would be a great opportunity, you know, for me to take a break, chill, relax, work on some stuff. But uh, with that being said, I love y'all, and I'll catch you guys later on, man. I'm out of here. I'm about to kick it. Be normal for a bit. You know, geek out, watch some anime, watch the Harry Potter series, it's on sci-fi, and just chillax, you know, be normal for a bit, you know, because I have not been able to be normal for a while due to all this stuff going on, but, uh, you know, I think for the rest of the night, I'm just going to be normal, game out, have some fun, you know, watch some anime, chill, you know, kind of geek out and nerd out a bit. And with that being said, love y'all. I'm out of here, man. Peace. If I can get this in the end. There we go.